Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Dungeons of Hinterberg. We are in the Icicle Trail in uh, Kolmstein, as you can probably tell by the rather frigid environment. Looks like we've got a little uh, skateboard jump ahead of us. Why don't we go do it? Just trying to see if there was anything down there as we jumped over it. Hang on. Alternate path here. Just wondering if they come out in the same place. Check we haven't missed anything, and we did. Um, uh, okay. I mean, it wasn't like a plus plus charm or anything, so I suspect that's probably a bit meh, but. What oh. Interesting. Okay. Oh, hello. So obviously, we've got this we can interact with. Let's just see what it does. I feel like we need to turn the power on. Which I'm not sure how to do. Okay, well, this keeps dragging me into this view. Um, uh, okay, what have I got? Well, I've got the beam. Does that do anything? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Um, all right, let's uh, pop out here a sec. Okay, so what we've probably got to do is... I don't know. Let's, let's turn this again, though. Now, maybe... How's that? Haha! <laughs> I didn't know that was going to work. That's uh, That was just a fluke. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Let's see. What little thing to collect there. I don't think that's anything, so I think we just uh, skip off over here. Actually, I'll, uh, I'll look around here. Sometimes you can walk around these little islands in the sky. Not in this occasion. On this one, though. Probably designed to skate around, but kind of want to make sure I don't miss anything, like this, for example. Uh, we've got another one there. Uh, it's going to be good to know where they all are before I zap one. Have a think. There's usually three when you have these triggers. It's a snowman again. Alright, so it's probably designed around doing this while moving. It's like, oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> Wow, 30 albsonic. That's really good. That's another one that we have trouble uh, getting that we need for the uh, a higher level shrinking on the charms. I just want to find one of these guys and then I'll maybe skate around trying to find others. Um, I think I went off this way, didn't I? I find it very, very hard to navigate on the spears like this. I lose track of where I've been. Um, let's see, that was the chest. God, why can't I find any of these things now? Okay, there's one, and there's another one. Well, we can zap two. Actually, there was only two. Okay. Well, that was good. We didn't need, <laughs> didn't need to surf around any more than we already did. What have we got? Anything around here? <coughs> Always pays just to have a little check in the corners. I can see a chest there. I think we'll grab that first. Large potion, okay. Won't say no. Probably got a... Oh no, there's another one. There's another one. So, oh no, there's a fourth one. Hang on. I'll do it in time. There might be... There might. There's potentially more down there. I'll just wait for them to reset. I'll do these ones. And then I'll, I'll get off and do the other ones. Although now I'm wondering if they are going to reset. Maybe they won't. Okay, let's carry on this way then. Aha. Is that all? Ah. <coughs> Did they... There may be others that I wasn't quick enough to get then. Let's head down here. Ah, okay, so there's... Oh, okay, wow. Yeah, there's there's a few. In fact, I think if we can do that, we can probably just surf off, off the end there. Let's go. Let's go. 
going. But how about that? Worked out quite well. Right, let's go through that big scary door. Nice. Oh, here we go. I'm assuming I can hit these as I go. Oh, another big scary door. Excellent. Here we go. That looks like a fight. Oh, okay. No, we're right in it. Which way are you going? Getting that way. Get out of the way. Beams are doing more damage to the enemies than they are to me. It's always nice. How's that? There we go. Anything around the corner? No. Another little uh, snowball thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Louisa, Louisa, Louisa. <laughs> Don't miss it. <laughs> hey. Quick here, down here. Uh, hmm. It looks like we can end up here off the end of a trail, which probably makes sense. Um, I wonder how many of these I can hit just standing here. Okay, just that one. So let's start. There we go. Pretty good. We didn't need the extra loop. We'll, uh, we're stuck on it now. We're committed. <laughs> Whoop. And then through the waterfalls. Very nice. All right, another big scary door. Oh, I don't really need any uh, recharges on any of that stuff. Let's just have a look around here. Dead end, I think. Let's check in here. No, no chests or anything, that's fine. Always good to check. Another one of these. So let's have a little look at what possible solution. I mean, it. Um, I guess this is uh, kind of the clue, isn't it, this stuff? So we're going to want this one to be pointed at those looks good. And then this one probably like that, I would imagine. And now it's just a case of where do we start from? Uh, maybe this one? No. Uh, maybe this one. This, maybe this one. There we go. I'm on it today. <laughs> makes, a <laughs> makes a change from yesterday. And I couldn't get my head around that dungeon. Alright, let's... Uh, over there. Oh, we've got another one of these, have we? So, <clears throat> I'm going to walk around and... See if I can find the necessary thingies. There might also be a chest somewhere, potentially. Uh, kind of a look at this kind of rock formation. There we go. There you are. Just two, maybe? There we go. Oh, that's a bit trippy. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. I can't remember what these guys do. Are they, uh, yeah, they're like a little boom thing. Like a little sonic boom. Have some of that. Oh, hello. Nasty scarecrow, man. Have some butterflies. running away, I'll just zap you. Oh no, another scarecrow. Okay. Uh, oh, and you. How about some smelly breath? Ow. Ow. 
now. Oh no, he's gonna do another thing. Didn't quite time that particularly well. I will get you. How's that? Not bad, not bad. I mean, didn't do particularly well in the fight, I must say, but uh, yeah, we got it done. Now, where did I come in? I forget which way I've been. I presume this is the way onwards by the look of it. So let's do that. Now, what's this? Oh, you, you, yeah, you usually put like sort of little orb things in there, don't you? So where might I group source such a thing from? I don't suppose I can hit those from here. No. What about these things? Oh, hello. That, that did well. Ah, okay, need to be a bit quicker off the mark. So we'll do that, and then we'll do that. Okay, you need to do it until they have hit it. Okay. No, I wasn't caught. I guess my positioning wasn't great there. Why did they? Oh, they open again very quick. They, they, it kind of feels too quick uh, for my ability. Let's let's go this way first and see what we can find here. Yeah, okay, well that's the thing we need to take. Maybe we're gonna hit that switch as well. What do we got? What do we got? We got nothing. That's a very rare case of a convoluted corner not having anything useful. Oh, that's going up there, is it? Uh, right. You just... You just came back. Why did you just come back? Do I need to go with you? Uh, seems not. Can I... I can't flip round. Huh. Okay, well I'm gonna guess that that will power one side then. So I do need that little, uh, gem thing. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I, I think I get the idea now. Right, so we need to hit you, and we need to make sure you're down. And you're down. Uh. And you're down. You're down. I may be slow, but I get there eventually. Right now, let's pick you up, plop you in here, and then we'll hit that. There we go. Nice and easy. Oh, okay. Not quite sure what we do here, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Uh, let's have a little look around first. So we've got like another one of these ooh, little gems. I uh, can't get through there. We'll need to move it on the trail again. What does this do? What we got up here, so we can take you out. Pop you in there. Okay, well that's done that. Good. Smack you. Maybe. Doesn't stay though. Uh, 
Oh, oh, okay. I can't get around here now either. Okay, um... Let's, let's think about this. So... Got any other switches around I'm not seeing? Um, can I keep you up there? I might be able to, well, maybe I could do it from this angle, potentially. I can keep you up there. What about that? doesn't block it. Ah, okay. That's what we got. Let's put it back and we'll have another look at things. Uh, okay, <laughs> that doesn't even load it up now. So I can get there, I can't do that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute. What about... Now if I hit that one... I might be able to get around there. Hang on, let's go this way. Now, aha, cool, so now I can grab this one. I mean, it's suggesting I should put it in here, but quite honestly, I don't think it needs to, because like, I'll just I'll just take it. <laughs> I mean, I, su I suppose that would have been quicker. <laughs> uh, you know what, you know what, let's, uh, let's bring it back, and then I'll do that. Probably going to be quicker, isn't it? Oh, I can do that too. I kind of didn't even think about that, but yeah, absolutely. And now we can plonk this in here. Now if I uh, bring this one up. Hang on, I'll just do it from up here, maybe. That brings that down, and I can now get to it. Da-da-da-da-da-da! Fighty fight. Oh, we've got one of you, have we? Some of that. Have my number one. Ow. Ow! That's electrocuting me, isn't it? Probably figured that out a bit late. That's a fiber. Yeah, not too bad. Probably figured out that electrocution thing a bit slow, but easily remedy that. That's where I just came from, isn't it? <laughs> I was uh, was checking the corners from the other end. That's what I was doing. Ah, okay. We've got another one of these. Uh, let's have a think. Imagine that looks pretty good. And we 
probably want that doing that. So now it's a case of, uh, where do we start? I feel like this circular thing should rotate, no? I feel, oh, <laughs> yeah, using this, of course. Uh, so we want... That looks good, actually, looking at the little map up there. That might... That might actually work. I think we should give it a go. No, so I haven't got anything going up there. Uh, but what if I hit this one first? There we go. I'm quite enjoying this dungeon. See the exit up there. Or oh, we got a little slalom or something to get up there, maybe? What's this? Maybe something to open that gate? Start. Oh, okay. Start and finish. There we go. Right then. Let's have a look. Let's check the corners before we just start. Quite a few flags. It's like quite a long course. Oh, don't get hit by the doodads. Oh. Shall we hit the jump? There's Mario Kart skills coming to the fore. We've not really done one of these before where it's had like obstacles and stuff to avoid. Jump. Oh, those snowflake things. I mean, I can't really moderate my speed, so I'm just going to hope it's okay. <laughs> oh, 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 ho! Oh. Okay. Through that, alright. Nope, I fell off. How much do I have to redo? All of it. Oh, no! <laughs> I was doing quite well, I thought. So I fell off under basically no pressure. All right, we'll give it another go, and if I fall off again, I'll uh, I'll pause while I do a third attempt. Oh 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 oh! I was kind of hoping there might be mid-race checkpoints, but uh, sadly not. Now we're not. Oh, actually, we are on a timer. So I was about to say we're not on a timer, but we are. near the point where I fell off before. Oh no! This is already this is it's already worse than the first round. I'm probably gonna slam into one of these ice caps now. Now how far did I get before? Is this where I fell off? To be honest, if I felt like I was falling off I probably should have just taking my finger off the surfboard button <laughs> would have been fine. Oh well, I think we're doing alright this time. I think we're just about there. Hooray! Cool. Let's head up to our reward. Wait, is it, was that 5,000 or 50,000? Oh, I think that was 50,000 credits, which is a bit insane. Um, but I'll take it. And just check around here. Pretty reasonable to not expect any more rewards than that. It was quite a nice one. There we go. So we've got uh, one more level 8 in Hinterwald and one more in Kolmstein to do. And then we're into the couple of number 9s and then we're getting close to the end. I don't know if there'll be like a, a level 10 boss dungeon or something, maybe. That might be quite fun if there was. But we'll head back to town for now, I reckon. Uh, well, how, I did, did I look at what Marina's third tier reward was? I don't think I did, so I'll have a quick look at that. Um, I'm going to have a quick look at charm shrinking, see if we can um, maybe free up a slot for something else. 
Um, then I guess probably hang with either Albert or Danny. Maybe Albert, because I think we can get to the tier one quite quickly and see what he offers at tier two. Um, let's have a quick look at this stuff. So, yeah, Danny, I would like to get their charm. Uh, I'm not so fussed about Hennings, to be honest. I don't know what Gertrude's going to offer, but the 20,000 bucks is a bit here nor there at the moment. I would quite like to get the rare attack conduits. So that's one we'll probably try and do. Um, <laughs> we'll avoid Kai, I think. Two HP slots at level three. Well, that's nice. I don't think it's essential at this stage, however. Amusement increases magic. Mm, yeah, maybe. Maybe. But I think for today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to know Albert a bit more, assuming he is on the map somewhere, uh, which may be a big assumption. He does not appear to be. Um, so with that in mind, I might go and hang out with Danny in that case. I don't think I... Um, I don't really think I need to hit the shops. I mean, cash-wise, I'm obviously fine. I mean, I might look at what they're selling, I suppose. So let's see, so I've got a tier 3 one, which I can uh, shrink down quite easily, so we'll do that. Um, how, I can get 1 to a size 1. So... I think I'll do the chain damage down to size 1. And funnily enough, the one I'm shortest on is this uh, Cobbledine or whatever it's called. I've got loads of this one. And that's good. I think I've probably f opened up a couple more slots. So let's have a have a look. Oops. Let's see. Yeah, I've got two slots, so I could add something else. Um, I don't have any two slot stuff. I'm. Mm. I don't think I've got enough of the the earlier reagents to. Oh no, I've got this. I've got this one. Physical magical attack multiplier. So yeah, we'll add that. Lovely jubbly. Okay. Uh, I'm just wondering if I'll hit the shops and sell some of the stuff I've got. I think I will just check gear and more in case they've got like a new range. Now I'm kind of getting into the level nine dungeon stuff. I'm kind of expecting I've seen their highest level stuff, but you never know. I've probably got a couple of bits to sell anyway. So let's see. So on the armor front, uh, they're not actually selling anything as good as what I'm wearing. So I'm assuming the swords is probably likewise. Yeah. Okay. Have I got anything to sell? Nope. I can. I've got some charms and stuff. I might sell to Hannah. Uh. Yeah. Brow shop. I'll have a look at her buying stuff as well. Um, just see if she's got anything that sounds good. I think I've got that stuff. Mm. Probably okay. Enchantment. Um... I like the enchantments I've got. So I think let's see if we could sell some stuff then. Uh, I'll sell Tinker Toy. I wasn't that impressed with Tinker Toy, to be honest. Nor Double Slash. I'll keep the others. Charms. I got a, I got a double, haven't I? So. It's Magical Defense. So I think I can get rid of that. Enchantments. Just sell the lower level stuff I've got. Because so I've got nice damage, I've got more damage, and I've got HP on Slay. So I'm quite happy with those at the moment, I think, honestly. Sell these other ones. Silly amount of money now. <laughs> uh, I wonder what unique items you can sell, because I've never had anything in that slot. And I'm getting late game now. Alright, that's fine. Uh, no Albi, but... Uh, Danny's round here. So we'll go and hang out with him. Hello. Danny? Not training tonight either, I take it? Nah. 
That's what I like about tra- No, that was, that was, that's not Scouse. That's what I like about traveling. Cancel your plans for a few hours and you're completely free. Pick whatever you feel like doing. See if you can make a good memory. I've been here since noon, just watching the lake. I've had a rough morning. But spending the afternoon here is a memory I'll take home with me for sure. How about you? Did you ever just take the afternoon off on your stay here? Find yourself a scenic spot somewhere in the mountains and in the forest. Just let loose. Yeah, I did. Sit with me. I'd like to hear about it. Uh, increased relaxation sounds fine. We will do. We'll try a gift first. Um, maybe a sleeping mask, because Danny likes relaxing and chilling out, don't they? So uh, let's do that. Oh, this is useful. Thanks. I appreciate the thought. Here, yeah, maybe we have some use for this. Another MP snack. That's good. Well, the Danny liked that, so that's good. Let's, uh, let's spend some time. It's kind of a reality check, spending a holiday afternoon all by yourself, innit? Is something back home weighing you down? Are you getting in your own head when nothing's holding you back? Or can you just clear your mind and enjoy being in the moment? For me, a vacation means I get to pick what I like to do every day. See if I'm actually a happy person when I can choose how I spend my day. What was your afternoon by yourself like for you? I enjoyed it. I can't exactly say that my mind was clear, but I did feel a lot lighter afterwards. I'm happy I did it. I wasn't in a great place before I came to Hinterberg. It's going to take some time to unwind. How about you? You've been sitting here all day. Is your mind clear? Ha! Huh? No, not today. I did this interview in the morning, British TV station. I wanted to have an honest conversation about slaying and its impact on the environment. All that CO2 blasted into the air, flying people here or producing their gear. I wanted to talk about the impact on the places of magic themselves as well. How the locals feel about the influx of tourists. But the interviewer would have none of it. She just kept going straight back to my dunce slaying technique and saying how many dungeons I completed. Uh, have you thought about starting a streaming channel? I'm sure you'd have a large audience. Oh, I have one, but I'm preaching to the choir there. This was a mainstream news channel. It would have had a very different reach. It's tricky. Getting taken seriously when you speak up as a pro athlete about the things that matter to you. And I get it. I'm just a random person who happens to be good at slaying. Why would anyone put more weight on my take on global issues than, say, their tax advisors? Then again, if I can't use my fame to speak up, what's the point of being famous? Maybe you're not going to get through to every interviewer, but you still have a bigger audience than most people. That's worth something, isn't it? I suppose it is. It's getting chilly, isn't it? Shall we continue another day? It was good talking to you. Thanks for staying out here with me, Louisa. I don't feel like we moved up to the second tier with that, so probably need another, another hang session before we manage that. Comes to tomorrow, so we've just done a dungeon. So I think tomorrow. Um, maybe we'll go and chill out somewhere? Yeah. So we could, um, maybe get amusement up, watch a bit of telly. Let's do that. An episode of a detective show featuring a German shepherd dog. Commissioner Ruffs, you made it out. We thought you were in the building when it exploded. Oh my god, I've never been happier to see that rascal. Who's a good boy? And wait, what's that in his mouth? The Blue Heart Diamond, he found it. Who's getting a promotion? You, yes, you. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a repeat of a TV show on that channel. I wonder how many they've got, you know, kind of in the database. Day 32, over a month now in Hinterberg. Uh-oh. Is that... Is the, is the ground shaking? Oh no, this feels real bad. I have to get out now. Uh-oh. What's happening this time? More ooze. Oh, we've got more of these things. Killer pickles.
Poor Miss Schultz. She just paid off her house. And luckily I have a vacancy. She can stay there until they repair the damage. It's a miracle nobody got seriously injured or worse. This has got to stop. I'll make sure of it. We're protesting in front of the town hall every day, but the mayor isn't listening. She's just shut herself in. Last time we saw the mayor, she said something big is going to happen. The fake dungeon wasn't the entire plan. She's up to something else for sure. Oh, just four dungeons left. I can do this. You better hurry. I don't think we've got much time left. Might be worth paying Giram or another visit this morning as evening as well. I hear they just got new inventory. Oh, okay, interesting. We'll take a look at that probably after our uh, uh, time out somewhere. I can't believe I just slept through this whole thing. I had my earplugs in, you know. From what I heard, you were a real hero last night. So I hope you're ready for a proper hero's breakfast, because starting today I'm working here. How about some eggs benedict to increase your MP for the day? Oh, my special muesli to increase your health. Uh, let's take the eggs benedict this time. I don't really need it. I should go to Comstein more often now I have the time. So we're just going to go and chill somewhere today. I might go back to, say, Doverkogel. Uh, because I'm wondering if in terms of the reagents we find, whether I'll find more of the sort of tier one more common stuff here. It being the sort of initial region that we visit. So I might do like, um, I might do a little explore and uh, see if I can get some more of those. I don't need a huge amount, um, but I would quite like to shrink some more charms down. We may possibly have got enough uh, monster parts as well to satisfy the, the weirdos. Cobbledine, there we go. So I've already got one. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it... I think maybe you're more likely to get the earlier stuff here. I wasn't far off last time. Ooh, yeah, that looks like it. I only needed 30, so let's um, I'll give them all I got. Should I just do the 30? And then we'll see what the next tier reward is. I mean, I'm sure we'll start investing towards it. 350 monster parts. You have truly proven yourself. You're healthier now by an entire HP slot. Your next reward will be... So there's 400 monster parts and we will increase your charm slots. I can't believe how many monster parts you've given us already. So many. Uh, well, let's dump off my the ones I do have. A charm slot sounds like a good one. Um, but I've only got like, you know, 30 something here. 32 or whatever it was. So that's good. But yeah, maybe I'll do like, um, oops. That, that, that was me attempting to uh, snowboard in Dobergogel, uh, which, as we know, is not an area where you can do that. Oh, got a fight, got a fight. Oh, it's you. Have it. What's up here? There's a chest up here. I never knew that. Look at that. 15 cobbler. That is very nice. That's exactly what I'm after. So that is pretty nice little find. Grab these. I mean, hopefully it'll be a bit bit of a chill watching me do a loop around Dovercogel grabbing some stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing, so... I wonder if we'll see Barkley again. He does crop up occasionally in Dovercogel. Anything back here? Doesn't seem like it. A little fight down there. I'm presuming it's fairly low level. So well, it's not huge, though. Oh, was that it? <laughs> okay. Barely, barely an inconvenience <laughs> at this stage. Uh. Go down to the little picnic area. Oh, and across here there was a chest here. I don't know if there was other stuff. No. I'm oh, pleased I found that other chest. I had no idea that was there. So even at this stage of the game, you know, I'm finding new areas in the places we're going. I might come back and chill out at that picnic area when I'm ready to sort of end the afternoon. Grab them. Might as well head up here now. I'm already moving that way.
old quarry. Fight over there. Barely an inconvenience. Now, what's up there? Where am I? Oh, I'm there. Uh, yeah, we'll head up there. It looks like just like a little overlook or something. Oh, a little shortcut down there, is it? And that's the cable car, isn't it? So I don't really need to do that. Grabbing this stuff though. Well, there's a chest up there, but I think that's all there is, so let's just uh, leave here. Probably worth a little spin round over there. Pretty sure I've been up there, but just in case not, uh, we'll go up as, as well. Quite a lot of this cobbled iron stuff, which is exactly what I wanted, so that's great. Um... Where does that go? That's up to the old quarry. I mean, I have been there. I think I might nip over to this fast travel and then kind of work our way back round. Fight. Probably an optional one, to be fair. I mean, I don't. Mind you, we're, we're, we're trying to save up monster parts, I suppose, aren't we? So, may as well. Ow, wasn't expecting that. Nothing too frightening. Check around here in case there's anything. There's quite a few monster parts, which is nice. Need to get 400 of them now. Well, minus 32, whatever that is. 368, something like that. No, I went up there. Where have I come back to? Yes, yeah, that makes sense. So if I continue down to, like, the shed... And maybe have a little rummage around in this area. Went down there, didn't I? generating a fair bit of trash again, although I'm not really in need of the money right now in terms of selling it. Now, I have chilled out here. There is a bit of stuff behind it, though. It is, it is a bit disappointing when you get a nice stack of those things and it's all trash. <laughs> but then it gets nice when you do that and it's all things you want. So. Swings and roundabouts. Easy peasy. 
think there's stuff over here. Even though I can't see it yet, there is. Nice, so we're picking up a fair amount of the stuff I do actually want, so that's good. And an HP snack. I forget what the level 1 2 is. I think it's the Pitslon, because the Albs next the tier 3. And then the Pecked something, or Perked something, is uh, tier 4, isn't it? So Pitslon is also good for us to pick up. Oops, some stuff down here. So we got the shredding facility. Oh, we'll go over there. I think there's a bridge to get over to the... I was going to say the mainland. It's not really the mainland, is it? But, you know. Bitslan, very nice. Happy to see you. I think that's just, just the dungeon that way, isn't it? So... Some moo cows. Oh, shit, I've got it to uh, drop down there. Oh. <laughs> to go around this way. I'll head this way. There's still more stuff to collect, I think. Do. Anyway, I think it's done anyway. I think I pulled that log down when I did it. Oh, hello, Barkley. Barkley, hey boy. What's he got today? Hmm. Another chest. Very nice. Thank you, Barkley thousand bucks well you know it's not it's not nothing is it <laughs> so funny now we're just chewing through the level seven stuff like it like it was barely even there it, the game's good for making you know feel like you're progressing up the levels you know getting more powerful which is what you want isn't it like it's only half a dozen episodes or something since the level 7 enemies would have been like yikes, very difficult like an actual barrier to progress, you know to if when they block paths and stuff oh, it's Barkley again, hello Barkley having a busy day boy let's just grab these what are we up to today boy Nice. Thank you, boy. Another thousand bucks. <laughs> I mean, it, you know, it's the thought, really, more than anything, isn't it? It is. Uh, okay, so we've done this bit. Wherever I am now. Uh, where am I? I'm over this bit. So I think I've... Yeah, I haven't done any of this stuff, have I? Maybe I'll do this bit, or maybe I'll start here and go down and do this bit. And then we'll do the relaxation point up near uh, Tatsa Worms there. How about that? Giant cavern. Been a while since I thought about this place. I think it was like the second dungeon I did or something like that. Second or third, anyway. Uh, how do I get down? Uh... Oh, there's a button. Of, of course there's a button. Ow. <laughs> I 
Now, this is a maze, and there's quite a few of these things lurking in within the maze, so I'm going to try and get as much as I can. Around here, yeah? Oh. Uh, no, in fact. Interesting. Or maybe in here. There we go. We are finding a fair amount of that cobbled iron, which is nice. It's going to help us. A bit more pits on wouldn't uh, hurt. But maybe that's something we find more of in Hinterwald, perhaps, as like the second region we went to. So I might well do that in the next episode, go and just have a little tromp around there in the woods. It was always nice. Way. Oh, hello. HP potion. I want to have some pits on. Very nice. Uh, nothing there. And that's kind of the main road out. But we're going to go up here, right? To Tatsal Worm's Lair. It's interesting this fight didn't respawn. How are we doing? That's the that's the rest point, isn't it? But I'll go up as far as the dungeon because there might be some more stuff up here. Potentially. Ah, yeah. Nice. We can get back down to there, but I don't want to do that. I just want to come back down here. Stay here and not do a dungeon today. Oh, okay. Wouldn't gain much from it. Okay, well, wait, uh, I'll go back to that picnic area one then, because I definitely don't think I did that. Seeing what other ones there are on the map. Pretty sure I've done that one. Uh, so there's the one. It's this one, isn't it? I've done the shed one, I'm pretty sure. So let's go and do the do that. Yeah. This is like the perfect spot to rest for an afternoon and just enjoy the scenery. Stay here, increase my relaxation and health. Sounds pretty good to me. I sleep, I sleep so well in Hinterberg. In Vienna, I'd wake up two or three times every night. Put on a podcast just to be able to fall back asleep. Recurring dreams about getting stuck in tight places. All the stress, all the energy my job used to suck out of me. All that feels so distant here. I just close my eyes, listen to my breath, feel myself falling. Then it's eight deep hours and I wake up rested and fresh. Even more so after an out afternoon out here. Nice. So um, if, Albie, if Albert's on the map, I'll go and uh, have a chat with him. If not, then we'll chat to Danny, assuming Danny's available. But we're also going to check out the shop, because if it's got new stuff, that sounds uh, good to me. I'm going to have a look at how much of this stuff I found. Wow, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. Um, 
So, these level 2 ones, how many of these can I do? Um, only one really, just because of the Albsnick actually. Uh, so in that case... I'll do this one. And what about... I don't feel like this one stacks. Um, I can do this down to level 2. I mean, I wouldn't be able to equip it yet, but I would just shrink it down ready. Ready for when I can. Uh, let's go to the shops. So I don't think I found any equipment, did I, in that last dungeon I did? Which is uh, a bit unusual, but it's fine, because I'm quite happy with the ones I've got. <laughs> Let's see, what about swords? Any legendaries? Oh, hello. So, my heart blade is... Bear in mind I have upgraded it. Um, 240... 121 one, two, one on the magical attack is much better than this, and it's only got one slot. I mean, I think anything with less than three slots is just an immediate no-no. What about the bunny blade? 9,000. No, way, way less than the, the mine. Yeah, I, I don't see any reason to to switch that up. Let's have a look at the armor, though. Start off with the breastplates. So, this one. Now, bear in mind I can raise stats by 11. Um, so, this one could get up to 57, 47, so that's not as good as what I've got. This one, 57, 57. So, it's slightly better than what I'm wearing. But I've got my AC charge up on this one, so I think that's probably better. Meanwhile, uh, so that would be 5734, which is better. It doesn't have the AC charge. These ones, 5640, which is better. But again, it's got the AC recharge speed up, which I quite like. At these, so that'd be 34, 47, which isn't as good. 34, 57. Which is better physical, not as good magical. So it's a bit of a trade off, and for, you know, 100k, probably not worth it. So never mind them. That's fine, at least we know. Let's have a look who our evening companion is going to be. Yeah, Albi is over in the uh, main square. So let's go and finally, finally sit down and have a little chat with him at this uh, cafe, which I have basically been intending to since the first day, but <laughs> it's taken a month. Oh, the young lady from the other day. I never thanked you for your help at the skill shrine. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. But perhaps you can reciprocate. You see, these apricot ice dumplings here, I cannot seem to remember what the locals call them. Uh, here we go. Ice Merlin Knödel? Ah, Ice Merlin, Ice Merlin Knödel. Let us summon one, post haste. Sit, sit with me, have one. They're closing down soon, you know. Um, increase my relaxation. Uh, we're going to give Albert a gift. Oh, he doesn't, we don't, oh, okay, we can't do it because we don't know him well enough. That's fine. Let's spend some time with him. So, you're a professor? I am a comparative mythologist by training. I study the appearance of magic in the world. 25 dungeons of Hinterberg, 5 dungeons of Hastings, the Venice anomaly. The list has been growing recently. And let me tell you, these ice dumplings are certainly one of the perks of my profession. What did you find? Why did magic appear in Hinterberg, all of, of all places? Ah, the rush of youth. If I had the answer, I'd be back in Brussels presenting it to my grad students. But tell me, is there something peculiar you've noticed about the monsters you've slain? The mythology one. They look like creatures from our mythology. Very good. We are getting to the heart of the matter. You see, they imitate creatures from your local myths. There is a distinction to be made here. You encounter not a perked, but a creature wearing a perked mask. Now, if the monsters of Hinterberg imitate local myths, does it not stand to reason it was something in your mythology that attracted magic in the first place? Let us contemplate the dumpling, shall we? 
I'm contemplating. Hard. Good, good. As one should. You see, the basic ingredients for the dumpling are the same across cultures. You have something starchy and rich in carbohydrates, commonly flour, but perhaps the potato. You mix it with fat and liquid, take some water and oil or butter, take milk for all I care. Perhaps you'll want a raising agent, or perhaps that is taken care of by your other ingredients. You can also replace salt with sugar if you like. And then you stuff it, and boil or steam or fry the little sucker to your heart's delight. Your point being? Ah, my point is that most cultures have invented the dump dumpling in one form or another. And yet, each of them sways just a tiny bit off the beaten path. That is where the results become delightful and unique, and sometimes magical. Quite the same with mythology, would you not say? You think there's an ingredient in our mythology that attracted magic to Hinterberg? Well, what is it? Ah, you see, that is yet for me to find out. For now, I propose we shall concentrate on our ice dumplings, lest they melt into gooey puddles themselves. <laughs> I close my eyes and think of myself casting a spell. The alien tingling I feel from my hands to my spine has started to feel less alien. Acquainted with Albert. Very nice. Interested to see what his second slot uh, reward is. Nice. Realization is getting pretty high now, um, which is good. Oh, the Monster Club. They gave us 20 HP, which is pretty nice. Uh, okay. Let's have a quick look at um, Albie's uh, second tier reward. Consumables that recharge attack conduits. Eh. Nah. But Danny's charm. Our relaxation is now our higher, joint highest stat, I think. So... I definitely want to get that level 2 perk before we start getting into level 9 dungeons. Um, but I think tomorrow we'll plan to do a dungeon. Uh, so I think straight to bed. Early to bed, early to rise and all that. <laughs> See if anything crazy is happening today. Seems alright. It's Danny. Oh, hey Louisa. I've been spending a lot of time in Hinterwald lately. Oh, I love the forest, you know. Maybe if you're free, come hang out with me there sometime. Yes, exactly. I was going to go to Hinterwald anyway to get the uh, reagents I'm after. But also, uh, we want to spend time with Danny, so definitely. Oh, good morning. Who's ready for the very best breakfast of their life? Okay, skip past the dialogue. I think I'll take the ex ex extra HP for Dungeoneering. And we will go to Hinterwald. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't think we'll do a dungeon here yet. Because um, I, I probably will end up spending the day with Danny. But I might do a round of uh, exploration prior to that. Try and get some of these uh, pit slons. And maybe some albsnick. Who knows? Um, but yeah, we'll leave it there for now. When we come back, we'll head into Hinterwald and have a little pot around and a day with Danny I expect uh, just remains for me to say thanks very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this if you have if you could hit that thumbs up button that is always very much appreciated as are any comments about the game about the general vibe of it about the story the dungeons anything you like really it's just always great to hear your thoughts and you know if you're watching this and haven't yet subscribed to the channel it would be amazing if you could so thanks very much and I hope to see you next time bye for now <laughs>